A week on, we're still reeling from the events of Christchurch last Friday, the horrific killing of 50 people and the injuries sustained by so many more in the attack on mosques. Our hearts very much go out in love and compassion towards those who are so affected by this, the injured and the grieving. I'm very encouraged by the response of our nation as a whole, but uh, also by our churches. Uh, who have reached out very quickly in support and in solidarity. Uh, there have been prayer vigils around a number of our churches. There's been the uh, work done to strengthen friendships that already exist between the Christian community and the Muslim community. And the message that together we are one people in this nation who need to reach out to one another in love has been uh, a very heartening one. I felt privileged to be able to be at a prayer vigil service at our cathedral last Sunday afternoon and was very moved that members of the Muslim community wanted to come and to be with us in that uh, act of seeking God's grace and God's presence through all of this. As Anglicans, we condemn what has happened. I want to acknowledge the ways at which in times for all of us our, our own actions can foster suspicion and can act to isolate other groups in our society. We need to be alert to that and uh, we need to stand aside from actions and attitudes that encourage such things. I've been reflecting much on uh, the 12th chapter of Romans in this last week and struck once again by the words there, uh, love must be genuine, hold fast that which is good hate that which is evil. Uh, they are virtues that we must continue to aspire to and to uh, create tangible actions that reflect our belief in those things which lie at the heart of God. Love must be genuine. Hold fast to that which is good. Hate that which is evil. May God bless us all as we seek to strengthen the bonds of love between all of the peoples of our nation.